Okay, well, box within a box. Hey viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another unboxing video from my kitchen. And the reason I'm doing it from my kitchen and have been doing unboxing videos from my kitchen is I have a little more control over the way the camera is pointed because my iMac has a fixed camera and it makes unboxing videos a little difficult. Now, I'm doing this because I received two things in the mail that I had purchased and one of them is a CGC 9.8 Spawn, number one. I know some people are going to bang on me, but I'll talk about that later. I also mentioned in the previous unboxing video the Joe Fixit figure, link in the upper right hand corner that there was a company Red Wolf Collectibles that I've ordered a, I ordered a custom stand from and I went ahead and ordered two more stands. One is a Spider-Man for my amazing Spider-Man 100 that I showed during the end of the Joe Fix-It video and the other is a Spawn for the Spawn comic. So I opened the boxes already to just save some time here and the first one I'm going to bring out is the the um, Red Wolf's collectible very nicely packed each one is individually packed order form uh, bubble the pr protection and they have this nice logo on the bottom that seals the box that's relatively easy to open here and booklet with the how to do the custom grading display. Uh, well, bubble wrapped and packaged. I'll leave a link to the SD site below in the description. And this one is Looks like it's the Spider-Man one. If I can peel this stuff off. Yep. Yep. Very well done. Oh, the spacers are even laser engraved here. Sorry about that. And these spacers are used to hold the comic in the display. Sort of like so, if you can see. But this is Spider-Man. And I didn't get Amazing Spider-Man. I kind of wanted it a little more generic. I could have done a little more customizing. But their general Spider-Man, it has the logo on both sides. It has a nice dynamic Spider-Man in primary colors. It's a very nice stand. Again, I'll be putting the Amazing Spider-Man comic in this. And the next one these nice boxes they're very useful for other shipping again this is their information I'll put a link below well packaged bubble wrapped and this is going to be the spawn one which tear through here and yes I will use the bubble wrap for other shipping things but as you can see the spawn logo is really well done really nice and these are weighted bases again the spacers and there is the spawn logo on side here these are really well crafted and I'm going to set this over here. The Spawn comic will go in and take the spacers out here. But again, these are really custom, really well done. 
I would recommend them. They're, they would seem expensive, but the reality is you can display your comics beautifully, your slabbed comics. And now the Spawn. Okay, well, box within a box. Okay, well, I'm going to probably stop the video and pause here because I'm going to have to open this. Okay. Okay, I'm cutting back because I just opened this box that was within the other box. I hate that. It's kind of... But it is protection. Free packing, I guess, from the U.S. Post system. Overall, nicely bubble wrapped. And I will keep the bubble wrap for other stuff. Plastic bag wrapped around it, which, again, it's interesting to see how people package things to try and protect it. And here we go. 9.8 spawn number one slab. No scuffing and beautiful shape, worth the money to me. And I know people are gonna jump on me about it because, oh, it's a spawn number one. There's probably millions of them out there. Yeah, but 9.8 is very difficult grade to get. And ultimately this comic represents a lot more than people think. First appearance of spawn, uh, Pit pin up, George Perez pull out, different things in it, but this represents the dawn of Image Comics, and they did ultimately change the comic industry in some ways for the better. And yeah, there might be a billion of these out there in a warehouse somewhere that someone's gonna find, but ultimately it's gonna continue to hold value and gain in value. I didn't buy it to invest. I bought it to collect. I'm putting my display case together and this is gonna go in there. Hope this is not reflecting bad, but if it is, sorry. Now, again, I got this custom holder and what you do is you put the 16th spacer in first or you might not need it. Hmm. comic in and then you slide the spacer in if it works hmm don't need it perfect you see how well this is how beautiful this looks overall I'm hoping to show it it looks incredibly gorgeous with this slab it's stable you got Spawn, Spawn, 9.8, beautiful, overall, worth every penny to me. Again, I'm not buying to turn around and resell years from now. I am buying because it's going to be in my personal collection. It represents something to me. And my Spawn issues, trust me, they are not 9.8. And they're trying to get one or find one. Yeah, there are millions of them out there, but I don't want to keep buying 20 copies to try and figure out if I can get a 9.8 out of it when I can just buy a 9.8. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I put them out time to time, as well as video game videos, which is primarily my channel and what I do at Barstool Entertainment. So if you do like video games or you just like this type of video and want notification when you when one comes up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification. I haven't hit 100 subscribers. That's my goal. I've hit 
50. Um, I appreciate everyone who is subscribing, and I thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing if you subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.